Hello everyone, Richard Evans here to show you how to work with NDI and growing files with Adobe Premiere. I have this laptop on my desk which will allow me to remotely control multiple machines using the KVM function as part of NDI Studio Monitor. So let's take a look at how this is done. So I'm currently remoted into my TriCaster TC2 Elite and I'm switching this basketball game in real time. Now I am recording this particular game to a network attached drive so that I can access this from another machine on my network. So now let me move over to my Adobe Premiere workstation and start to work with those files. So the first thing that I'll do is import in the media that I'm working with by navigating to the network attached drive and grabbing my basketball game footage. There it is. All right. And so I have that over here and let's drag it to the timeline. And there indeed is the basketball game that I was just switching. All right, so I can go through and start to edit this, make my different cuts, uh, et cetera, all from my timeline here. Now, normally during a broadcast, you would have to wait for the file to be, uh, for the show to be over before you can start to work with this and edit your footage, but check this out. Let me go ahead and highlight all of this and grab my cursor and drag it over to the right, and you'll see that I have even more footage to work with here because I am working with growing files. These files are still being generated by my TriCaster on my network. And let me go ahead and expand this window just a bit to want to show you something cool here. So keep an eye on media duration here. You'll see that it just changed a little bit because it is now adding additional footage in real time to my files. All right, so let me go ahead and bring this back over here. And to edit the preferences of that, you would go to the top of the screen, click Edit, go to Preferences, and click on Media. And right here in the middle, you'll see that there's an option for growing files, and I can have them refresh every 10 seconds, 20 seconds, 30 seconds, as quick as you want. And you can start to move your files around and start to play with them and edit them before your show is even done recording. It really is just that simple. Now, once these files are brought into Premiere, you can edit them, add graphics, treat them like you would any video file. You can even play that sequence out via NDI to be viewed on any NDI-enabled device on your network. So you can start editing your show while it's still being recorded. With Growing Files and NDI, you now have instant access to your content as soon as it's available, so you can get to work faster than ever. Thank <laughs> you.